Will he marry me? She walked along the sidewalk. She wasn't paying attention. She was thinking about her boyfriend. He made her angry. He said he didn't want to marry her now. He wanted to marry her later. She wanted to get married now. She didn't want to get married later. Why didn't he want to marry her now? Maybe he didn't want to marry her later either. Maybe he didn't want to marry her ever. Maybe he wanted to meet someone else. Maybe he wanted to marry someone else. She walked straight into a bench. She hurt her leg. Her leg started bleeding. She sat down on the bench. Her leg hurt so much. She tried to stop the bleeding. Can I borrow $1,000? She was angry. She was angry with her brother. Her brother didn't help her. She needed to borrow $1,000. She had asked her brother to lend her $1,000. He said no. Her brother said he didn't have $1,000. Her brother was lying. Her brother had ten thousand dollars. He had ten times one thousand dollars. Why did he lie to her? Why didn't he tell her the truth? Why didn't he lend her one thousand dollars? She said, I know you have ten thousand dollars. All I want is one thousand dollars. I will pay you back next year. You will get your money back next year. He said no. He said people shouldn't borrow money. He said people shouldn't lend money. But I'm not people, she said. I'm your sister. Too many prisoners. Prisons today have too many prisoners. The prisoners sleep in bunk beds. They sleep in triple bunk beds. Triple bunk beds are for three prisoners. One prisoner sleeps in the bottom bunk bed. Another prisoner sleeps in the middle bunk bed. Another prisoner sleeps in the top bunk bed. They sleep on top of one another. They sleep beneath one another. Prisoners complain about the triple bunk beds. They don't like the triple bunk beds. Prisons didn't used to have bunk beds. Prisons didn't used to have any beds. Prisoners used to sleep on a cold floor. Prisoners today get three meals a day. They get three hot meals. Prisoners used to get one meal a day. They used to get one cold meal. Do you want it or not? She offered her car to her brother. He said he would think about it. Let me think about it, he said. She called him up a week later. Do you want my car for free? she asked. He said, I'm thinking about it. She asked, How long do you have to think about it? He said he didn't know. Let me think about it some more, he said. She called up a charity. She said, Do you want my car for free? The man at the charity said yes. She asked, You don't have to think about it? He said, No, I don't have to think about it. Who has to think about a free car? He picked up her car the next day. Wash and dry. She went into the laundry room. She was in a hurry. 
she needed to wash and dry her clothes. Then she needed to go to work. The washer was running. Someone was using the washer. The washer stopped. She opened the lid. She took the damp clothes out of the washer. The damp clothes belonged to someone else. She put their clothes on top of the dryer. She put her own clothes into the washer. She started the washer. Half an hour later, she took her clothes out of the washer. She put her clothes into the dryer. An hour later, she took her clothes out of the dryer. Then she went to work. She left the damp clothes on top of the dryer. The teacher. He loved his job. He had a good job. He was a teacher. He loved to teach. He loved his students. He loved to teach his students. His students listened to him. His students listened to almost every word he said. His students learned from him. They learned how to spell words. They learned how to pronounce words. They learned how to ask questions. They learned how to answer questions. They learned how to think. He taught them how to think. Don't believe everything you hear, he said. Don't believe everything you read, he said. Don't believe everything you see, he said. Use your head. If something sounds too good to be true, it usually is, he said. Eat like a wolf. She was a fast eater. She liked to eat fast. She ate like a wolf. I am like a wolf, she said. He was a slow eater. He liked to eat slow. He ate like a turtle. You are like a turtle, she said. She didn't talk at the dinner table. All she did was eat. He liked to talk at the dinner table. He talked about the news. He talked about the weather. He talked about sports. She listened to him talk. She nodded her head. That meant yes. She shook her head. That meant no. He talked. She listened. She never said yes. She never said no. She never said anything. All she did was eat. The Man in the Moon She looked at the moon. It was big. It was round. It was white. It was big and round and white. It was much bigger than all the stars. The stars were little lights. The moon was a big, bright light. She looked around. She could see other houses. She could see the sidewalk. She could see the street. The moon was bright. It was not as bright as the sun, but it was much brighter than the stars. She looked at the moon. Her dad said, There is a man in the moon. She looked for the man in the moon. She looked for his eyes. She looked for his nose. She looked for his mouth. She did not see the man in the moon. A Clean Church the janitor cleaned the church every day. He swept the floor with a broom. He mopped the floor with a mop. He vacuumed the carpet with a vacuum cleaner. He cleaned all the windows with a wet cloth. 
He cleaned the men's bathroom. He cleaned the women's bathroom. He cleaned the sinks in the bathrooms. He cleaned the toilets in the bathrooms. He cleaned the mirrors in the bathrooms. He scrubbed the steps outside the church. He scrubbed the steps with soapy water and a brush. He kept the steps clean. He kept the windows clean. He kept the bathrooms clean. He kept the floors clean. The steps were clean. The windows were clean. The bathrooms were clean. The floors were clean. It was a clean church. The cold winter. It is winter. The sky is usually gray. The sun is not big. The sun is not warm. The sun is never high in the sky. It's always low in the sky. The shadows are long. In the morning they are long. In the afternoon they are long. The shadows are cold. The wind blows. The wind blows almost every day. Sometimes it is a strong wind. Paper blows everywhere. It is always a cold wind. People wear heavy jackets. People stand with their hands in their pockets. People blow on their hands to keep their hands warm. You can see people's warm breath. When they breathe, you can see their warm breath. Their breath is like steam from a teapot. Everyone is cold in the winter. I want all of them. Betty was excited. It was December 1st. Christmas Day was only 24 days away. She was looking at a magazine. It was a magazine for little girls. There were many pictures in the magazine. There were many pictures of dolls. The dolls were from many countries. There were dolls from Mexico. There were dolls from China. There were dolls from France. There were dolls from everywhere. There were so many dolls. She showed the pictures to her mom. Mommy, will Santa bring me all these dolls? She asked. No, honey, her mom said. Santa will bring you only one doll, so pick the one you like best. But mommy, she said, I like them all the best. Soccer Soccer is a fun game. It is very popular. It is popular all over the world. It is fun to watch. It is fun to play. It is a simple game. There are two teams. They play on a big grassy field. There is one ball. There are two goals with nets. Each team tries to kick the ball into the other team's net. The players cannot use their hands. They cannot touch the ball with their hands. They use their feet to move the ball. They use their chests to move the ball. They use their heads to move the ball. The players run back and forth. They slide on the grass. They crash into one another. They play to win. Trees in the jungle. It rains a lot in the jungle. The rain helps trees grow. The jungle has many trees. Trees are home for many jungle animals. Many animals live in the trees. Monkeys are jungle animals. 
Monkeys love trees. They love to swing from tree to tree. They climb down from the trees. They climb back up into the trees. They sit in the trees. They eat their food in the trees. They eat the plants in the trees. They eat the fruit in the trees. They live in the trees with the birds. They live in the trees with the lizards. They live in the trees with the snakes. They live in the trees with the ants. The trees in the jungle are full of animals. What train? She had watched the news last night. The weatherman had said it was going to rain today. It was going to rain all day today. She got dressed. She put on her rain boots. She put on her rain coat. She grabbed her umbrella. She was ready for the rain. She was wearing her rain boots. She was wearing her rain coat. She had an umbrella in her hand. She walked outside. Something was wrong. What was wrong? It wasn't raining. Where was the rain? She looked up. She looked at the blue sky. She went back inside. She took off her raincoat. She took off her rain boots. She went back outside. She still had her umbrella. You never know about the weather, she thought. It's not the money. The brothers don't speak to each other. They had a fight. They had a fight a long time ago. The fight was about money. Money can make people happy. Money can make people unhappy. Money can bring people together. Money can tear people apart. It doesn't take a lot of money to tear people apart. Sometimes it takes only a little money. The two brothers were angry about one hundred dollars. Only one hundred dollars. But they both said, It's not the money, it's the principle. A principle is a way of life. To tell the truth is a principle. To work hard is a principle. But both brothers lied. It wasn't the principle. It was the money. A patient mom. May called her mom. Her mom lived in China. China was far away. Her mom was fifty years old. Her mom had many friends, but she missed her daughter. May lived in America. She was a waitress. She was a waitress in a restaurant. It was a Chinese restaurant. Guess what, Mama? May asked. I met a nice man. Her mom said she was happy. Will you marry him? She asked. She wanted May to marry. She wanted a grandson. She wanted a granddaughter. She wanted May to bring her children back to China. Be patient, May said. I only met him last month, but he's very nice. Her mom said, Okay, I will be patient. But hurry up. They want a baby. She wanted to have a baby. She wanted to have a baby girl. He wanted to have a baby. He wanted to have a baby boy. He loved her. He said, Okay, we will have a baby girl. She loved him. She said, Okay, we will have a baby boy. They both loved each other. They both wanted to make each other happy. He talked to his parents. He asked them what to do. She talked to her parents. She asked them what to do. His parents said, 
No problem. Have two babies. Have a baby girl and a baby boy. Her parents said the same thing. So they had two babies. They had a baby girl. Then they had a baby boy. No more meat for her. She used to eat meat. She used to eat a lot of meat. She used to eat beef. She used to eat pork. She used to eat ham. She used to eat chicken. She ate meat every day. She ate bacon for breakfast. She ate a hamburger or hot dog for lunch. She ate meatloaf for dinner. She ate vegetables sometimes. She ate fruit sometimes. She ate salad sometimes, but she ate meat all the time. One day she walked by a dumpster. She smelled something. It smelled bad. It smelled really bad. She opened the dumpster lid. She looked in. She saw an opened package of raw hamburger meat. It was covered with flies and ants. It stunk. She closed the lid. She stopped eating meat. Will the car start? She got into her car. She hoped it would start. Sometimes it started immediately. Sometimes it started after five minutes. Sometimes it didn't start for twenty minutes. She had taken it to a mechanic. He couldn't fix the problem. He didn't know what the problem was. She had taken it to another mechanic. He knew what the problem was. She needed new spark plugs. He put in the new spark plugs. She paid him. She thanked him. Now her worries were over. She didn't have to worry any more. Every time she turned the key, her car started immediately. But a week later, her car didn't start immediately. It started after five minutes. She called up the mechanic. He said to bring the car in. He would look at it again. Help him die. Nick was old. Nick was old and sick. His wife was Sherry. Sherry was younger than Nick. Nick was older than Sherry. Nick was eighty-one. Sherry was sixty-one. They had been married for forty-one years. They loved each other. Kill me, Nick said. You say you love me. If you really love me. You will kill me. I will not kill you, Sherry said. You will get better. The pain will go away. Nick had cancer. He had lung cancer. He used to smoke. He used to smoke cigarettes. He used to smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Nick was in pain every day. This cancer is killing me," he said. Sherry said, "If the cancer is killing you, it doesn't need my help." Dead bodies. The big room is air conditioned, but it smells. Dead bodies are in metal drawers. The bodies have no clothes. The bodies are naked. A white sheet covers each dead body. The drawers slide in. The drawers slide out. A doctor works in the big room with the dead bodies. He works there almost every day. He cuts the bodies open. He cuts them open with a knife. He cuts them open with a saw. He looks at the bodies. He looks inside the bodies. 
Why did these people die? Why did this young man die, he wonders. He tries to answer the question. Every dead body is a puzzle. The doctor tries to solve the puzzle. Then he tells the police why the people died. A growing baby. A baby has arms and legs. It has a mouth and eyes. It looks at everything. It eats everything. It smiles a lot. It cries a lot. It eats a lot. It drools a lot. It pees a lot. It poops a lot. It sleeps a lot. It tries to talk. It makes funny sounds. It says goo goo and ga ga. It waves its arms and legs. It doesn't do much else. It doesn't sit up. It doesn't stand up. It doesn't talk. It lies on its back. It lies on its stomach. After a year, it will do many things. It will crawl. It will stand up. It will walk. It will talk. But in the beginning, it just grows. It grows bigger and bigger. A lot of cash. She was sitting in a bar. She was drinking beer. She was getting drunk. She started to talk. She started to talk too much. She talked about her cash. She talked about a lot of cash. She had thousands of dollars in her purse. She said she had twenty thousand dollars in her purse. She said it out loud. Everyone in the bar heard her. Everyone looked at her. She took some cash out of her purse. She held the money in the air. Look, she said, here's one thousand dollars cash. She waved it around. She laughed. She put the money back in her purse. She had another beer. A man was watching her. She finished her beer. She left the bar. He followed her. They fly so well. He looked at the bird. It was a black bird. It was walking on the grass. It was looking for food. Birds have a funny walk. Why do they walk so funny? Because they don't have arms. Arms help people walk. People walk well. Birds don't have arms. They don't walk well. They look funny when they walk. Birds have wings. Wings help birds fly. They use their wings to fly. They fly very well. They are beautiful to watch when they fly. They belong in the sky. They don't belong on the ground. The blackbird found something to eat. It flew up into a tree. It ate the food in the tree. Then it flew away. The homeless man. He was homeless. He was cold. He was shivering. He was in the park. He was sitting on a bench. A sign was next to him. The sign said, Please hire me. I am homeless. People walked by. They looked at him. He looked dirty. He looked old. How could this man work? He was too old to work. He was too dirty to work. He needed a bath. He needed some food. One lady stopped. She sat down next to him. She said she belonged to a church. 
She said to come with her. They both got up. He walked with her to the church. The church was warm. He smelled hot food. She said, Our church will help you. A mountain drive. She wanted to go for a drive. She told her husband. He said that was a good idea. Where do you want to go? he asked. She wanted to drive to the mountains. She wanted to go to Big Bear Lake. Big Bear Lake is high in the mountains. It is 7,000 feet high. It is a two-hour drive from their home. It takes two hours to get there. The lake is big and beautiful. They could park their car next to the lake. They could sit next to the lake. They could watch the boats. They could watch the fishermen. They could watch the squirrels and deer. It is a beautiful drive to Big Bear Lake. The road goes through a big forest full of tall trees. He will work for gas. Doug went to the gas station. Can I have a job? he asked. The owner said, Maybe you can have a job. Can you count money? Can you put gas in a car? Yes, said Doug. I can count money. I can put gas in a car. So, can I have a job? There is just one problem, said the owner. I cannot pay you with money. You cannot pay me with money? asked Doug. What good is that? What will you pay me with? Bananas? No, said the owner. I won't pay you with bananas. You aren't a monkey, are you? No, I will pay you with gasoline. I have lots of gasoline. It's a deal. My car uses lots of gasoline, said Doug.